So there's a ton of confusion right now in regards to the amount of legendaries that will be in offer in the full game to Outriders, with many people believing all weapons in terms of legendaries are already in the demo for us to obtain. I can confirm that is highly wrong and today we check out how many are actually in the full game we will look at some that ain't actually in the demo. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So within the Outriders demo there are 10 legendary weapons in which you can obtain right now and take over up into the full game upon release on April 1st. Those 10 legendaries are the Grim Marrow, the Ares Master, the Golems Limb, the Iceberg, the Torment in Agony, the Thunderbird, the Rayrog's Gaze, the Voodoo Matchmaker, the Migraine and the Amber's Vault. These are the only 10 believed to be in the demo. And right now there are no legendary armor pieces available in the demo either and they are being held back for the full game. So 10 legendaries in the demo in terms of weapons and somehow it seems people have come to the assumption that there ain't any others in the full game for us to obtain. Well people I can tell you there certainly is. If you go into your accolades tab within the game you can see for yourself. If you look within the item management, it states that there are 46 individual unique legendary weapons in the game. That's 36 more than what we have in the demo guys. You can also see there are 95 legendary armor pieces too. 95 people, that's crazy. So in total within the full game upon next release, there will be 141 legendaries in the game, which is a staggering number for sure. Now in regards to what legendaries are among these extra 36 weapons, I do have a few images of some which I've gone through hours and hours of gameplay to find them, so let's check them out. Firstly, the Absolute Zero. This is an assault rifle and it has the ultimate freezing bullets mod. Shots inflict freeze on enemies. Next up we have the Anamoir, I believe that's pronounced, correct me if I'm wrong. This automatic shotgun offers the Morning Winds mod. Reloading creates a strong blast around you, dealing damage to enemies in a range of 8 meters with a 2 second cooldown. Next up we have the Molten Idola. This is a legendary rifle with the Ravenous Locust mod. Shots create a swarm of locusts, dealing damage over 15 seconds and inflicting weakness to enemies remaining within a 6 meter radius of the target with a 2 second cooldown. We then have the Paxian Blessing, which is a pump action shotgun. The livestock here is its mod. Reload restores a portion of your health for each enemy killed since your last reload. So those previous four legendaries uh, we have seen actual inventory shots of. The others I will cover are weapons I have found via spending literally 3-4 to four hours going through every piece of official footage I could find released by People Can Fly on Outriders. Another thing to note, a lot of the earlier footage showcase weapons which we know are legendary now but back then were represented by a different rarity. This could be a scenario where placeholder items are in place. For instance, we all know the Voodoo Matchmaker is a legendary weapon. Well here we see it's a rare. Again this is early footage where I believe placeholders are in place here. Every other weapon we see from now on are items I have found that are represented by that legendary status. So let's go and firstly we have this sniper which I did see earlier on in the trailers was a more common weapon much like the earlier images of the airy master but here we see the newer gameplay of the weapon it is a legendary next an amazing looking piece of kit this I do think is either a shotgun or a marksman with that revolving orb on top of it just pulsing that energy looking absolutely incredible for sure Next up guys we have this pump action shotgun with the axe light blade on the front of it looking absolutely cool as I'm sure you will agree this one I'm pretty sure is called the guillotine. Next up guys this assault rifle which does via a snippet of gameplay you can catch it pulses with electricity I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. Next up guys is this crazy looking weapon I believe is called the air to the desert as earlier images showcase this weapon as a more common type. This weapon I do believe is a pulse rifle from footage I have seen with a slight snippet of it it does seem like it's shooting as a burst weapon I say pulse because I'm used to playing destiny but yes yeah, I think it's a three burst but it does look crazy unique. 
Next up guys, our weapon I'm sure we can all determine is a sniper rifle, looking absolutely great. Next up people, we have this abomination of a weapon, I mean I have no idea what this is, maybe a sniper of some kind, but whatever it is, it does look like it hits pretty hard. Next up people, we have this pistol, unfortunately I couldn't find any clear gameplay footage or screenshots of this weapon, just that it was a part of someone's loadout. Next up, this amazing revolver. Now I know this is something people want to see as within my streams I'm seeing many folk talk about revolvers and hoping to see a legendary variant so here one is guys. Next up we have this quite unique looking rifle glowing in that turquoise aura looking absolutely amazing. Next up guys another pistol this one looking like it hits very hard but this is all we have seen of it. Moving on, another sniper rifle where we see again no gameplay images of this thing besides it being welded as part of someone's loadout, but it does look pretty beastly. Okay, so from here we have weapons I have found which in my opinion just look way too unique not to be legendaries, although I can't factually state they are 100% legendary weapons, I would put money on them. So first up we have this bony lava glowing weapon which could either be an SMG or a rifle looking absolutely great. Next up we have this brute which its barrel is glowing blue, so could be some kind of charged shotgun maybe because the width of the barrel looks like it could shoot out cannonballs looking absolutely great. Next up people we have this insane locking weapon which I'm pretty sure is some kind of heavy machine gun with those tusks on the front of it making it looking as mean as. Next up guys, a weapon we see for literally a millisecond, but looks crazy unique, this has to be a legendary. Next up guys, we have an amazing looking pirate kind of themed possible shotgun here. I mean the design on these weapons are so awesome and unique looking, it's hard to tell the actual type of weapon archetypes they will be. And lastly from my findings people, we have this amazing looking bony themed monster which glows and pulses blue. What this is I have no idea. But for sure, this has to be a legendary weapon guys, what do you think? Well there we have it people, from me spending hours looking through footage, with what I found, I believe to be a major part of those extra 36 legendaries that will be available in the full game, that ain't here in the demo. Not including the 90 plus legendary armor pieces that will be in the full game for us to grind for too. And well then people, the 1st of April when it does arrive, we will have a ton of grinding to do and I hope to see you there. People, if you are new to my channel or want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video or a live stream, make sure you turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. A like on the video always helps out, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.